Today, we're going to cover the latest mod update information you must know about in 2023. I made a video with information that would really help you. So don't leave halfway through and watch the video until the end. Then let's begin. The first update news to introduce is the update to support the latest version of A of Dynamic Animation Replacer. Dynamic Animation Replacer mod was not supported only in the latest version of A, but an update was recently uploaded. SB does not need to be updated separately. If you look at the update log, it is said that an improved function has been added so that the T-Pose does not appear after starting the game. This function is said to be supported in SC in the future, and the function is similar to the recently introduced animation fix. I uploaded it to the community a few days ago, but this is the news many A players have been waiting for, so I'm introducing it first. New Joint Fix Mod is a SKSC plugin that fixes the knee problem that is chronically present in Skyrim. Usually, this symptom seems to be severe when the character bends the knee, but the Mew Joint Fix Mod fixes the problem that occurs at this time. Mew Joint Fix Mod has been steadily updated in December 2022, but has been updated again recently. Looking at the changelog, it says that Race Menu Heal added a function to Auto Heal to fix misalignment of some objects and that the geometry update frequency was reduced by changing it to update geometry only when the object is called in the animation. Floating damage has also been updated. Floating damage mod is a SKSE plugin that outputs the damage of actors in real time. Floating Damage Mod is one of the must-have plugins that upgrades the RPG-like part by providing damage information to players in real-time, as it outputs damage to the screen in real-time. There has been no update news for a while, but it has been updated recently and the change log says it supports the latest version of A. Fourth is the Nether's Follower Framework mod. Nether's Follower Framework is a multi-follower system that is light on game resources and allows for up to 10 companions at one time. It provides a wealth of additional features, including immersion and quality of life functions to allow you to adventure with a small team of characters. It seems to have been updated to version 2.8.1 in almost one year and four months, and it is said that more than 60 elements have been updated. Various settings of the existing NFF were reconfigured, bugs were fixed, and many elements were updated, such as improving the efficiency of the system. This is good news for players who have been using NFF. So many elements have changed that I'm afraid to introduce them. Players who have been using NFF should check this out. The fifth is Dindalod 3 Alpha. Dindalod is an advanced and easy version of XLOD Gen that upgrades LODs by generating comprehensive LOD mods for the entire load sequence. Dindalod 3 Alpha was released around May 2022, but was recently re-uploaded as Dindalod 3 Alpha 110. In version 110, it is said that the problem that permanent cells added by non-master plugins cannot be copied has been fixed. And in version 109, there are many useful updates, such as fixing out-of-bounds errors while handling references, and also improving user-defined valid large reference checking. Sixth is the race menu. The Race Menu mod is simply a representative mod that allows you to shape the player character in detail. The Race Menu has recently been given a complete overhaul of the Character Creation menu, 
including new customization features, while providing files via optional files. However, SKSC 64 GOG Anniversary Edition 2.2.3 or higher and game version 1.6.659 are required to use this. Finally, Skyrim Flora Overhaul. Skyrim Flora Overhaul adds 18 new trees, over 65 new grasses and plants, makes green forests look deeper and older, adds much taller trees, snowy trees look much better due to heavy snow it is a representative mod that upgrades the environment of Skyrim, such as making it more detailed and some of it warped by snow. Skyrim Flora Overhaul is also a representative mod that has been updated recently. If you look at the changelog, there are further tweaks, such as fixing some floating objects, adding some missing textures for LOD, and adding more normal maps. These can be found in more detail on the Tesnexus site, which is documented in the video description. That's it, I'm going to finish all the introductory videos for, mod updates you must know about starting 2023. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end. Subscriptions, likes and notification settings are very helpful for channel growth. See you next time.